What's up, everyone? 99SS. Back again with another episode of Alaskan Road Truckers. And since the last video on live stream, I've been grinding it out, getting my XP. And here's what we have. We're ready to unlock Trucker License B. Let's go ahead and get that. And we've also got our mechanical points here. We're going to open up Tire Workshop 1. Truck Workshop 1. And Customizer 1. Of course, I've got the Mother Truckers Edition. Got a few extra items in the custom garage. Let's go ahead and open these up. All right. So we've got all that. And what we have here on the lot is the locations for everything. We're going to go ahead and build those on the computer. And I've also got a little parking garage here that I noticed. So we'll open up uh, the other spots as we buy more trucks. As that seems to be the intention there. Another thing I wanted to show you is cooking. Yeah, we cook in the truck, obviously, but you buy king crab legs and salmon. You cook them inside the garage. And those give you more nutrition. We'll take those in. And we'll get them cooking here. Yeah, man, I'm really enjoying the game. There are a few bugs, though. They're still ironing bugs out. The one thing I noticed since the live stream and the video, if you watch my live stream and video, you'll see my my hands moved when I drove the truck. I've got the Logitech G920 shifter. But, problem is, I'm turning the wheel right now, and and we're not getting any movement inside the truck and they're saying in the patch notes that I just downloaded that this wasn't supposed to be an issue so apparently something has changed and now I'm having an issue so just gonna have to be patient and let the developer sort all these things out you know there's a lot of different bugs people are experiencing they're saying they work with the AI traffic um, when I was playing and grinding this out to get the XP and the money, I noticed that, yeah, the AI is a little bit more improved, but I still have people rolling over in front of me and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, let's get on the computer and purchase our upgrades here. And make sure you're saving your game and backing up your save. Those are in your app data, local, under ATS. Then you see the save game folders. Let's make a backup of those. I highly recommend it. You can also use your log book in between jobs. So I ran into a bug during the live stream where I normally don't talk to the receiver when I drop off a load. This time I did. And they're like, just park in the yellow areas, right? In any of the designated areas. And I did. Dropped off the trailer. Submitted the, the completed order. Says the quest was complete, and I didn't get paid. But the thing that was worse was if I tried to go to a new job, and it said I had a trailer already. So for now, if the developers uh, watch this video, check into that, because that's how I found that bug by talking to the receiver instead of just parking in one of the yellow areas right away. So yeah, there's that. Let's go ahead and manage our HQ. Um, we got the workshop. Level one, buy it. And the customization, buy that. Parking, those are pretty cheap. We'll buy them all, I guess. All right, and tire workshop. That leaves us with 17,956.45. All right, we're done there. And now we should have these facilities in our uh, lot. So let's go ahead and get this food out here. See what this looks like. So it gives you a lot of nutrition. Uh, fires in three days, it says here. Let's go ahead and cook the salmon. Here's our cooked king crab legs. 75% nutrition, 12 in one day. Okay. 
And those also stack. See? You have like three servings of that. So that's a good option for you. To have some food that will uh, give you more nutrition. Alright, we'll leave that in the oven. We'll go check out these facilities. And then I'll fast forward and pick up a uh, Class B job. Because as you know, when you first start the game, you're basically doing Class A. So yeah, this is kind of a little bummer here that we can't see my hand. Now he is going for the shifter. See? We shift, but he's not uh, moving the steering wheel, unfortunately. Okay, let's turn on our lights here. All right, another thing I was hoping they'll do is get a more detailed dash. So if we want to turn off the HUD, we can see our gear shifts and everything inside the gauge cluster. And maybe make it so we can see the speedometers a little better. You know, that would be nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, check out these upgrades. This is pretty cool. You know, I already checked it out off uh, camera, you know, in my other profile. But check this out. You'll, you'll like it. So the game is basically a mechanic simulator, flash survival simulator, and a truck simulator all together. So it's a pretty good game. So we got to use our horn here. Beep. And then you're inside. So we can go ahead and uh, raise the truck right here. Proceed to look under it and see what you can work on. If there's anything extra you can do here, seems like we can do the sump. I don't know if the mini game is popped up here or not. Oil sump examine. Try again. That's 80% on it. Replace. All right, so now the little mini game comes up. I think this is a little bug too. Yeah, let's go ahead and replace it. Hold. Yeah, this is a little bug, buggy right now, see? All right, we got 30 XP. Oil stump repaired. Okay, now if you look at the tires, you can tell they're bald, man. Probably they haven't wiped out with these tires. All right, so let's go ahead and um, change them out here. All right, I'm gonna just buy the best tires. Buy for 3,200. And it doesn't tell you that it's buying tires for the whole truck, but it does. So just buy a set of tires and get some rims. Right now, this is all they have. I'm going to go ahead with these. I mean, you can pick any of these that you see here. Those are actually pretty cool. Um, you can buy, and then these are the most expensive tires here. Well, this is buy the most expensive one. Buy for 1200 And you get... A lower profile tire, larger rim. They look like they're chrome black here, but when you're outside, they should be more of a chrome look. All right, so they're, they're already installed on the truck. And you can see now we got some tread. All right. All right, so that is your tire workshop. Go ahead and lower the truck. And there it goes. All right, and to get out, come over here and interact with the gate. Start it up. All right, screws over to the next garage here. And you can see your wheels here. Look like they're more of a troll. So as you progress, You'll be able to unlock uh, upgrades for your engine and everything else. But you gotta grind out the XP. So what I noticed with the category uh, B jobs, they don't seem like they pay as much, but they're gonna be more difficult, like tougher areas to get in and out of, different types of loads, hauling chickens and stuff like that, different types of trailers. So, yeah. But the cool thing is, shorter jobs, what I find is do your shorter jobs to get your XP and long jobs for money. So I did a lot of long hauls to make money to pay for these upgrades. 
and then the XP, I just went ahead and did shorter jobs. So that's a good tip. All right, let's get in here. And this one is the custom shop, I believe. How come we can't walk around? Oh, wait, hold on, I'm inside the truck still. All right, so we get out. It'd be cool if the garage door would open and we could drive in and out. Maybe they'll add that later. So walk in here and use your computer. Then you can do some paint work here. You can pick any of the designs that you see. Got that skull on it. I'm going to go with the uh, plain black and do some additions here. And this is where my mother trucker's ranching thing comes in. You have a few extra items here right now. Let me get this bull bar, um, the visor, basically what you see in the thumbnail, the exhaust, just everything that's here right now. Now, another thing I noticed, and we already knew, the lights aren't working. Uh, hazard lights don't work. The, uh, day, uh, the running lights don't work, so you're definitely not going to see these on top. Um, your tail lights don't work. So yeah, your chicken lights on the sides aren't working. So yeah, the lighting is not working right now. Front, I'll probably skip this, but you could do these if you want to, you know. It actually kind of looks pretty cool, you know, but I'm going to skip them. How do we skip that? Wait, can we, okay, long curve, let's see, where's that horn stuff? All right, so just remove it. All right, so we're going to get everything that we have on the truck here. And that will make the truck appear just as it does in the thumbnail. And it looks just like that. And like I say, the only problem is... Let's see if we can fire it up and turn the lights on. Maybe they patch it, because I did download a patch. Let's see if uh, they work now. No, they do not work. And no matter what light mode you put... Right? I wonder if maybe... We have a setting for it. Let's see. Control. Keyboard and mouse. Let's see where the lights are and everything. Light. Hazard lights. Okay, I do have those bound. Right? I did find those by mouse. So I'm not seeing any other type of uh, light. So maybe they need to add that. But yeah, you can't drive out of here. You gotta just uh, interact with the gate. So you can start the truck up. Let's see, let's get out. Let me highlight that. Okay, there we go. You can jump out. Interact. Okay, and then you're running. Alright. So that was a custom shop. We were in the tire shop first. And now we should have the standard workshop over here, which, I mean, we already did some work for the sump, but I think we, as we progress, we can upgrade and then you get a diagnostics tool and everything so you can find out what's wrong with the truck in, in, in its entirety. Because if you go to the regular workshop in the game, like I did in my first profile, I ended up spending like 4K because I, I fixed everything. And the truck was basically on the lift and you know, just told you that everything was messed up or whatever, and then you just pick what you're going to pick. So I'm assuming we're going to be able to do that once we get our workshop fully upgraded here. Yeah, okay, we got to use the horn here. Can I use it when I'm stepping out? No. Alright, so now we're here. So yeah, here's your workshop. Pretty cool looking. And your lift is right here. And use that. Yeah, so right now we can only access certain parts here to work with. And I did gain access to the air filter. Only one, because one said it went bad when I was grinding out XP. And that was the driver's side over here. So I was able to repair that. And I have seen that you could buy filters in the stores, but it didn't require me to buy one. It just said repaired. Our oil sump is okay. So yeah, that's the only thing we can mess with right now. 
And if you hit tab, it kind of shows you what you can do. Our battery, we can work with two. And we have a storage box here, sort of like what we have in the main headquarters. It's got some more stuff here. You got a toolkit, truck battery, and some more oil, fuses and stuff, air filter. See? Let's lower that down. Take a peek under the hood here. All right, our oil should be good. Our sump is good right now. Pop off the oil here. It'd be cool if you could do an actual oil change, dump the oil. Okay, we got more XP. Uh, coolant, top it off. Radiator. And here you got this mini game again. I don't know why we did, why we just can't put a brand new radiator in, but oh, we can replace it for eight hundred. Let's do that. If I hit E. Now it's at ninety nine percent. Okay, now we actually replace it here in the shop. Nice. All right, so now, because that radiator was giving me trouble. And I'm sure a lot of you notice the same thing in your game, you know? So, yeah. All right, so we got to leave through the gate. All right, so there's all of your uh, new facilities. And uh, I recommend highly, I highly recommend cooking that salmon and king crabs. Take those with you. I hope we get some more options, maybe some deer meat. Um, who knows, you know, beef, steak chicken, different things we can cook. That will be pretty cool. All right, from here, I'm going to go ahead and pick a job. Let me show you what we have here on the on the map. What I like to do is uh, take everything that I don't need there. Just keep what I want. So I'm going to look for category B, license B here. Click on them, and you'll see we got an A and a B here. we got sand, mixer, concrete plant. Um, let's see, another one somewhere here. And we have grains. Cat B, A. See, they're not paying as much. They'll probably be, some of them are long, though. You can tell by the duration. I'd rather do shorter ones and get XB for now. I just try to get the next license opened up. And at some point, you got to get higher category trucks. Probably to haul certain jobs. Right? So we're going to do this here, which one? Gravel, road construction. We'll do that one. We'll pick that. And where is it starting from here? Starts from this location here. We'll set our GPS to go there. So I'm going to head over there, and I'll meet all of you there in a second. Okay, on the way, we got a fatal error. This has been a new thing here. We've been crashing a lot. So I'll see you at the pickup site. I'll have to reload the game here. And I got back in the game, and there's a problem here with the mirrors now. Never had that before. See how the image is getting frozen there? Now, you can put the virtual mirrors up. That seems to free them up. See? Right? That frees them up when the virtual mirrors are on. You got different options with those. But once you turn them off, that's it. As you can see. So, if you run into that bug, use your virtual mirrors for now. Yeah, the image is basically frozen. And that was after the crash. Okay, we've arrived at the pickup site here. Yeah, these jobs have a lot more uh, complexity to them on site here. Where's our manager right here? Don't see anybody here? We gotta drive further in. So yeah, the mirrors seem to uh, activate again. Yeah, there's a little bug with that. You know, that could be something with the new drivers. You know how uh, there's always a new NVIDIA driver or something like that, or graphics card driver updates. Sometimes that comes into play. Sometimes you can roll back on those, you know what I mean? All right, so where's the boss man around here? There he is. There he is. There he is, liver lipped. See what he's doing over here. My dude's tired. Alright. Let's see. See what he's got for us here. So, yeah. I mean, little updates look good. I just wish the lights work. 
on everything. But little by little. Alright. Wait a minute. Yeah, I I came here and there's supposed to be a job here, dude. Oh wait, we have another manager there. Hmm. According to the map. Okay, it could be the situation here. Alright, we're at the we're at this location. And there's nothing. So a little bit further back. Okay. Alright, some of these sites are a little bit confusing here. We'll drive over there. Pick this up. But yeah, the game's gonna have little bugs and issues. Just gotta be patient with it. I'm enjoying it. Fun little game. I'm gonna keep uh, doing videos and live streams on it. And uh, we'll be adding some American truck here too. Pretty soon. Right, where are we going? Which way? Which way is this guy? Okay, that way. See how tight all this is? That's the difference. Uh, when I was off camera, I went to another site. And uh, yeah, similar. A little more uh, complex. They make it more of a challenge in a mini game, which is how it should be with trucking, man. Now, the only thing is, like I say, there's a little bit of an issue backing these trailers that I've noticed. And um, I don't know. I don't know if it's 100% accurate. I think it needs some fine tuning as far as the tracking and everything goes. The trailers. Now, I know smaller trailers should turn, you know, more freely, easier, and quicker. This is cool. We got to walk all the way down in here. I like that. I like how all the sites are different in this game. Everything's not just cut and paste. You know, different interiors and stuff. Okay, yeah. Here's our job that we were looking for. That's a category A. Got a limestone for me here. B. Invincible brick. I will right, we'll go ahead and take that. Okay. Where's the trailer at, man? Right there. All right, not too bad. Where's my truck at? All the way up here. All right, so when we leave here, you want to study these sites out. I don't know if they're going to trick you with like, oh, this not, you don't want to go out the same way you came in. Look at these. You got your uh, low boys over here. Pretty cool heavy hauler. So for that, you're going to need, you know, a more powerful truck. So it's a lot like ATS, and there's a lot of variety of stuff here. I'm wondering if they're going to have us purchase our own trailers, like American Truck. That would be pretty cool. If you can own your own. So you could do the freight market, cargo market, you know what I mean? Where do we park? Be around here? Oh, there it is. Alright, so we're going to come out and go that way. Alright, so that's not very difficult. The road's a little more narrow and whatnot. But yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Let's see, our mirrors are working good. But like I say, you can't see what you're supposed to see. Like you don't see that flashing trailer. Like there's a trailer in your mirror, but it won't have that flashing outline. I don't know if that's intentional, or if it just has something to do with with an issue that we're having here with these mirrors, or what. You know. So those trailers aren't going to look any different from each other. See, so you can see one there, right, on our uh, left. But the one that we need to back into is not highlighted. So it's not giving you that. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but... Just keep that in mind. Now you can use these virtuals if you want. I think they're a little better, bigger. So you can go for that if you want to have an in-cab experience. I'm pretty sure they'll uh, tweak these mirrors a little more. Now you can see a little pin. Try and get it a little bit over and get it right in the center. Right there. Let's we'll see how that works. You can see the little uh, 
little indicator that we have there in the center of the screen. That's pretty cool. That should get us more in the middle here. Okay, right. a little bit more of that. Eh, that's good enough. All right. Hop out with this on the screen. Yeah. All right, let's hook it up. Lock. Lift. Yeah, I like the variety in the game. Very cool. We got a trailer hooked up here. Got a lot of space for uh, turning this one, see? I like that. Manage our cables. Again, we're doing Class B here. Class B license stuff. Not as high paying, but you know, they're probably not as far. And uh, you, know, you can get your money or get your XP. We don't have anything to drink on us. I don't know if I have any energy drinks in the truck. I'm going to keep on yawning here. Let's see what we have in the back. Cool kit in there. Breakfast. We can put our uh, crab in there. I don't think I have any energy drinks. All right, we're going to have to stop somewhere. To get something. We have seven hours to do this. I can sleep a little. Because we don't have anything for energy. Uh, the only thing is, we just won't be on time. See how he does with an hour of sleep. And shut out here, take a little nap. Alright, that should stop him from yawning. Hopefully. Another thing I've noticed, the seasons don't seem to be, uh, you know, like playing out here I've it's gone through spring and summer I, I think that's what it's doing is it's going spring summer it's not giving us fall and winter obviously not yet all right so there's our trailer but I like I like how you can see the uh, cargo in there that's pretty cool right not just an empty trailer Yeah, we're hauling category B. We got our newly customized truck. By the way, your logbook is here on your seat. Um, I'm going to save it right there. 100% durability. You could do that when you pick up jobs in case anything happens. You know, that way you can load that if something bad happens. You know, so you could do that. But also manually save your stuff though, like I was telling you. In the app data. Local. Well, by the way, also before we get to the site, um, we got these roadblocks that pop up, free down. Here's my chainsaw. Oh, I got it in my inventory already. Let's go ahead and clear that out. 
according to the patch notes that I downloaded today, we should see an animation on that. I've done this a couple of times and the chainsaw was invisible. So yeah, you definitely want to have your chainsaw and have your points allocated there, right? For this right here. By the way, we have another point. And we have another point on this as well. But nothing costs one point here. All right, that's fine. Go ahead and clear this out. Um, we could probably get around it, but with all these cars, you're better off just taking care of it. I think you get rep for doing this anyway. All right, yeah, it's still invisible. Still invisible, unfortunately. All right, so we cleared the way for the cars. And they say we're going to get more uh, intricate roadblocks. That time progresses. I had to stop and get some coffee, by the way, on this little trip. And one thing I noticed on these uh, Cat B jobs, before we get to the site here, is you get 15 mile an hour zones and stuff like that instead of 25. So you'll see that. Be careful for that. And it's easy to get a ticket. And you, gotta, you gotta slow the truck down quicker. Before we were getting 25 mile an hour zones. Now we're getting 15s, stuff like that. So yeah, that was a roadblock. And how you use your chainsaw and as you can see, the chainsaw is still invisible. Yeah, the game's very much a work in progress. You know what I mean? Just be patient. Enjoy the process. The game's coming along. All right, we're arriving at the site here. Right around the corner. So yeah, game looks really good. I can't wait to see what the fall and the winter look like. Because all I've seen so far is... Uh, Spring and summer keeps on cycling through spring and summer is what it appears to be doing and I think it that could be something to do with they're not ready to have the uh, the winter portion right they're still working on that so hopefully we get to see that pretty soon could be pretty interesting see that winter weather I'm interested to see how this trailer tracks when we back it in here. So let's see how that goes. And here's our site here. And you got your big yellow spot, obviously. But we're going to try and back it in there. See what happens. See how the trailer handles it. See, you know, it's obviously going to handle it. Because as you can tell, it's more of a stretch connection. To the rig so could be different can't adjust the tandems or anything like that but let's see what we get here now we can park in this open area now some places don't offer you multiple parking and that might be the case here i don't know let's take a look around because i'm not seeing other spots we need to have our hazard lights on but uh we can't can't do that let me see do they work no, you can't do it from outside the truck anyway. I'm seeing that big spot. Is there any other little areas here? Oh, yeah, there's one. Sometimes it's just a pull-through, though. Yeah. Cab right here, so it's a pull-through. Oh, here's a back-end right here. Little back-end space right here. They gave us all three options there. All right, let's see how this trailer handles it. But yeah, man, I like how all the sites look different. Pretty cool. Not just cut and paste. Game's got a lot going for it. Got to be patient. And uh, I'm pretty sure everything will get ironed out. Uh, my dude's falling asleep here. Let me, uh, I stopped at the gas station. Grab some of these. I need that beef jerky. All right. Hopefully we get some different uh, types of cups or containers to drink out of. They all look like coffee cups. All right. Let's see here. See, it is a little tighter. You got these little posts and stuff like that. So it's got more challenging parking here. It was already pretty challenging 
with those little category A trailers. Because they were, you know, they turned so quickly. So now, look behind us. See? They make this a lot harder. So that way, this is what you can expect from category B. They have it set up a little more uh, intricate here. So you can bang up your trailer and stuff like that. So you gotta, you gotta really swing it in here. All right, that's uh. Let's see how she backs straight here and here. Let's see. It's a back straighter. Yeah. As it should. Well, not really. It's starting to move. The ground could be playing an effect into that. Let's see. You know, the terrain is uneven here. So can't expect it to uh, stay perfectly straight. But it shouldn't be so uh, touchy. See, I'm moving the wheels there. I see it straight back. Okay, yeah, these back up a lot better. Nice. Uneven terrain. They now turns on the uneven terrain. Okay, fun to see what would happen there. This looks like it's too wide for this here. Or too narrow of a turn, see? Got those pylons. Well, let's see. It does give us that option for a straight pull-in. So, we should be able to get in here. Now, to get the back in, we'd have to turn it around inside of here and then back it. So, we got it in. And to get that back in parking, got a swinger around here. There's the boss in there waiting on us. Get that freaking trailer parked in there. What are you doing? Park it anyway. We got time for this crap. Need that freaking, I need that invincible brick. Like now, you know? What are you doing? You got 23 minutes. Get the job done. All right, so there's our spot. Let's see if we can get it in there. I'm inside the cab. And we can use these mirrors here. Your virtuals. Give you a little more of a better view. Since it's kind of hard with these uh, standard mirrors right now. But yeah, I'm liking back in these category B's already a lot better. Yeah, the small trailers are going to do that. Remind me of having my dually and trying to back in my trailer back in the day. A little small trailer, you know what I mean? Another thing, we don't have a trailer brake. <sighs> well, we see in the yellow space in the virtual mirror? Let's see. Did they fix that? Let me see. I don't think so. No, we're seeing something there. It's like we're seeing that wood right there. Okay, yeah, that's what we're seeing. We're not seeing the yellow space still, even in the virtual mirrors. Unfortunately, can't see it. But yeah, your trailers are going to be different. Should be getting bigger, 53 footers and stuff like that. And more of a stretch connection to your uh, fifth. So you'll be able to uh, crack them in there differently. I'm wondering if we're going to have uh, tandem sliding since we have a workshop and all this kind of stuff. That'd be pretty neat. Yeah, I wish we could see the yellow spot in the ground. That would make it a lot uh, better here. 
All right, let's stop. Take a look. We should be close. According to the objects on the ground and surroundings and stuff like that. Yeah, we're in a decent angle. Okay, yeah, not bad. All right, let's finish it up from here. Yeah. Pretty cool so far. I like that smoke coming out of the stack, so. And those pipes now. I wonder if those flappers. Are they supposed to have flaps on the top? <sighs> no, I guess not. That would be cool if they had the little flaps on top of those stacks. That would be a nice addition. So yeah, I was thinking of binding my brake to a button and sort of using it as a uh, so I don't have to step on the pedal and use it as like a little trailer brake. But you can kind of use your pedals too. But you know, depending on how you're controlling the game, you can use your brake button and just do that. You know what I mean? And brake, but just not a uh, an official trailer brake. But it will kind of get the job done. And this doesn't have the air brake thing like uh, ATS did. Like if you overuse your brakes, if you had that on, it would uh, lock up on you, in real life. Still a little hard to get this one in here. I prefer backing them from inside, to be honest. When I play ATS, I always back from inside the cab. But without this yellow space, it's making it kind of a pain. Probably not worth doing this, you're not really getting any ex extra XP. I'm more doing this for uh, testing. More so, you know. Freaks. Freak. <sighs> Hard to swing here. Let's see. Hold the brake. That kind of helped when you do that. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to straighten this out. You gotta really alley dock this blindly. You have to get it perfect. That should be a good little angle right there. Should be fine as long as the truck as the trailer don't move like the other one, like the category A. Should be good. Yeah, doesn't take the same intricate little movement. <laughs> if you have a trailer brake, you can do that too. You know I mean? I should get it. Not perfect on that yet. Brighten it up. Right there. All right. Lock her in. Right, 
back inside the cab. All right, unhook it. We gotta lower the gear first on here. Yep. Another job complete. Just our first category B. And uh, got our headquarters upgraded today, man. Really happy about that. Oh yeah, it won't unlock until we do the cables. Gotta do it in order. Got a lot done. Did some cooking. And I'm just looking forward to see what comes in this game in the future, you know? Hopefully the bugs get ironed out soon. And, you know, looks to be a great game so far. A lot of fun. Truck looks good. Ooh. We'll probably get more custom options soon. All right, let's go see the boss man over here. We've got, let's check our pay so far. We have 67.17. Make sure we do get paid here. Always check that. Oh, it's not a boss man, the boss lady. Okay, here. 52.17. No penalties or nothing. We did good. Finish. Uh-oh. We didn't get paid. The bug has occurred again. All right. Well, another bug, people. And I didn't talk to her first so and we were talking about that at the beginning of this episode the bug occurred again I didn't get paid I did not get paid but you know we had a fatal crash while I was filming this and maybe that had something to do with it you know we had the mirrors freeze up on us as you can see I'm not able to uh, move the steering wheel right that was it that's as far as it goes he gives us a shift but that's it Let's turn off these mirrors. All right, so um, logbook. I'm gonna reload this. I'm gonna reload it. Does this even work? Let's see what happens. I'm gonna reload it. Um, I won't pull it again. We'll pull it off camera or something. It's probably because of the crash. I don't know, but we're stuck in a loop now. Oh yeah, now it's got us over here. This is where I saved it. Oh wow, look at this. Uh-oh, truck fly flying in the air here. Okay, not good. Not good. Not good, people. <laughs> All right, well, you see that didn't work, but I had good intentions, okay? I'll see all of you in the next video or live stream. Peace out.